So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at our crosswind assist. And this is a 2015 van. The van that I'm going to be chasing is a 2014 van. Now with the 2014 van, the ESP system can detect yaw. So a rotation this way, which is understeer and oversteer. And when we get into an understeer or an oversteer situation, we can apply brakes to one of the wheels, either a front or a rear wheel, depending on the skid that we're in. So now move into this van where we're a 2015 van, where we have the standard crosswind assist. And what we've done is we've recalibrated the yaw sensor so that the yaw sensor can measure lateral movement this way or this way. So when the vehicle is moving this way, what will happen is we'll apply brakes to two of the wheels on the side where it's coming from. So if it's coming this direction, we apply brakes to this, these two wheels. If it's going that direction, we apply brakes to these two wheels. And what that does is it keeps us in our lane. Now, here's our challenge. Crosswind assist is something that happens above 50 miles an hour. So I need to get the speed up to just above 50 miles an hour. And we're going to be driving through the fans over there. And those fans are going to be pushing out wind somewhere between 90 and 100 miles an hour. Um, probably not a scenario you're going to run into very often, but it's really a graphic way to demonstrate how this system works. The red van in front of me will not have crosswind assist, so you're going to see as we go through that red van is going to come through, the wind is going to hit it, and it's going to move something like this, where the back of the van gets pushed out. When we come through, all you're going to feel is a very little bit of motion this way, and that's really the system keeping us in line. You guys ready to go? So we're going to come around this corner here at 40 miles an hour and I think you'll be quite impressed with how well the Sprinter holds the road. So we're coming up to the crosswind here and those boats are moving air at 100 miles an hour. And you can see the red van as we came through was moving over laterally and we managed to just continue in a straight line. So where does crosswind assist come from? Why do we have it within our vehicles? The question I get often is, so does that mean that your 2014 and earlier sprinters are dangerous? And really they're not. Um, you know, we saw that the red van obviously didn't tip over. Yeah, it moved over a little bit, but how often do we see a 90 mile an hour crosswind? So in this scenario here, we were able to go straight through it. So that's really the, the safety feature of it. It's just another functionality that we've put in our adaptive ESP.